the source and destination of funds for the buyers and sellers, and any income tax reporting by any of these individuals or entities is unknown. Using luxury vehicles to launder dirty money. That's what criminals are doing here in BC, according to an independent review released Tuesday. The findings were laid out by former Mountie Peter German, who documented cases of criminal elements using BC to purchase thousands of luxury vehicles to launder money, all with little to no oversight of financial transactions. In the luxury car market, there is no financial reporting of large cash purchases, no oversight of international bank wire transfers, and no apparent investigation or enforcement. It's all a recipe for exactly what's happened here. Of particular concern were the high number of PST tax refunds on luxury vehicle purchases due to be exported. Since 2013, $85 million worth of refunds were processed on over 3,000 luxury vehicles. Where that money went, no one knows. The report also uncovered a complicated luxury vehicle export scheme involving hundreds of straw buyers acting on behalf of unregulated small-scale luxury vehicle exporters. A grey market that the authors say has expanded dramatically since 2013 and is extremely likely to be facilitating trade-based money laundering. Last year, a similar report by the same author found that criminal gangs were using casinos across the province to launder money. It's a problem that has serious consequences far beyond the province's borders. We're talking human trafficking. We're talking, you know, females that are being forced into uh, the sex trade. Uh, all of this is part and partial of, of organized crime. In a statement, the new Car Dealers Association of BC reacted to the report saying, we agree that this review is important for British Columbians and should there be regulatory changes to any reporting requirements with respect to new car sales, we certainly will comply as our members always do. The Ministry of Finance is reviewing the tax refund program and details of allegations made in the report have been forwarded to police, ICBC and the Vehicle Sales Authority. We are also preparing plans for regulation of the luxury car sector. The findings also looked into horse racing as a means to launder money but saw no evidence. A further report into the housing sector is due to be released soon. In Vancouver, Tom Walsh, City News.